what's going on everybody it's your boy kryptonian saying here bringing you guys a review for one piece chapter 888 and man i gotta keep it real i gotta keep it real right man when care went through that transformation it was two thoughts that went through my head first what the fuck is going on here <laughs> and then the second one was man i don't know man I never really thought about fucking Carrot before. She looking good enough to go balls deep inside of her right now. <laughs> Yo, Carrot is fucking hot in that transformation, man. She's fucking hot, man. Damn, I was I was never really into her like that before. Shit, man, she looked fucking hot, man. Like, and then the crazy thing is, it's like she was taking charge, man. She was taking charge in this shit. Like, when she transformed, she going through and she fucking up all these shit they're shooting shots at her and everything everybody's like oh my god she's a mountain lion from zo I, she's a warrior so i don't know if we can handle this and next thing you know she's biting people in the neck she's going through knock knocking dudes out most importantly when one of the dudes is talking all this trash to her and she goes over and in the midst of all the chaos she rips off the wheel of the ship so now the ship is potentially gonna crash into the other ships like carrot in a short period of time now see what chopper had that crazy look on his face because in a short period of time carrot has wiped out a major threat like this is crazy dude like these minks are some next level shit man like we got an idea like during the zoark we got an idea but you know this is one of those things like i downplayed the hell out of her i thought she was fodder i right, almost keep real with you i thought she was fodder i thought she was fodder with the potential of maybe getting strong but i was like okay she's gonna join the crew with like the portion where usopp and nami are where they're gonna be jokes you know they're gonna be made into the useless joke characters that's not the case push come to shove this girl can throw the fuck down like i love this right here like her 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 part of the chapter like by the time i got finished with them like that's it i didn't even realize i read through 17 pages because of just how fast paced that was man like put some respect on carrot's name put some respect on her name because I mean, she's doing enough now to where, you know, once it gets out that she sank a ship, like she's at least, she's, she's at least going to have that, that bounty berry that Nico Robin had when Nico Robin was a child. Like, this was kind of cool. This was kind of cool, man. I thought that this was, you know, interesting to see that part of uh, Carrot right there. Like when she was getting ready to go in, she said, well, you know, what would Pedro do if Pedro was here? You know, we have to we have to march forward. We have to press onward. That's the only thing we can do. And she says, it's a full moon. I can transform. I'm one of the uh, musketeers as well. And sure enough, like Jim V knew what was about to happen. He knew what was about to happen. He was like, are you sure you can handle this? And she's like, yo, chill. I got this. Like, I wasn't expecting some shit like that, man. I really wasn't expecting that. I like how Oda like mixed in some of the flashbacks and, you know, was talking about how like, yeah, you know, I think it was Dogara. He was like, "Yeah, you know, when when those minks transformed, I don't I don't necessarily know if we could keep up with it. You know, they had a secret weapon, and now the Straw Hats got a, a ace up their sleeve. This is gonna be interesting to see if she can maintain this transformation for a long period of time, or whether or not it's just a a short transformation because she's potentially still mastering that power. I mean, that remains to be seen. But I mean, I I, I like that part. Now to backtrack a little bit, to backtrack a little bit. I mean, I thought. You know, the Luffy versus Katakuri part. I thought that part was cool in the manga, how you saw it. You know, I'm, I'm always a fan of... I'm always a fan of Luffy's rematches because, you know, it's one of those times where, you know, Luffy's taking information that he's gathered on his opponent and Luffy's about to put it to rest and, and or excuse me, put it to test. And like what you end up seeing here is like Katakuri's so full of himself. Like he's like, oh, yeah, you know, you never answer my question. You know, you're feister than ever. You're feistier than ever. Why did you come here? You could have kept running like a coward. You know, are, are you back here because you want to work for me? Oh, that's like, like, there's a bunch of Luffy buttons you can press. That's like section three, page A, quarter section B. Like, you don't touch that shit. You don't tell Luffy, like, you can come work for me. Because Luffy will kick your ass and say, bitch, you're working for me now. Like, that's some shit that you don't do. That's some shit you don't do. Like, you might as well ask Usopp that one. Usopp said, no, I'm I'm Captain Usopp. Luffy at some point was like, okay, yep, yep, Captain Usopp my ass. Going to whoop your ass right here in Water 7. Like, you know, this, this is one of those times where, you know, Katakuri, his arrogance is going to be his downfall. And I like how, you know, to his credit, though, 
You know, he, he's still doing his trash talk. He's like, yeah, you know, losing to you, that ain't an option. You ain't defeating me. And I like how he's dodging the attacks, but I think Luffy's in the process of trying to learn how to use foresight to where he can foresee when Katakuri foresees his attacks and adjust them. Like, if Luffy pulls off some shit like that, Luffy's going to be fucking broken. Period. And I think Oda's setting the door for that. But, you know, the fact that we're only getting two pages of Luffy versus Katakuri in this, it lets you know that, like, their, their third fight, that's going to be the real mumbo-jumbo throwdown right there. So, I mean, I thought that that part was cool. You know, I also like how, you know, like when the uh, cannonballs are flying towards Nami, and then Nami's like, no, no, the straw has went that way, that way, that way. And they're like, oh, yeah, thank you for helping us. And then we find out that part of the reason why they're so gullible and they lose all control and everything is because when Big Mom ain't in her right mind, those cannonballs, they're not in the right mind either. So I thought that that was interesting. You know, like, when you get to the part where it feels like the Straw Hats are being, you know, trapped, I'm thinking, okay, surely they've got to turn to the left or right and just go that direction and hopefully outspeed them. But at the same time, they're losing so much ground. Like, sometimes the fastest path is just going to go straight forward. And I think even Jimby says, you know, we just got to go straight through them at this point. And Chopper volunteers to go on there, use the rumble ball and raise hell. But the first thing went to my head was like, if Chopper does that, doesn't that mean that Chopper is going to put himself in a position to where he transforms, he wrecks everything, and then he ends up drowning because he's got devil fruit so he can't swim. So he's going to do more harm than good. So I like how Oda conveniently slipped that in there where Carrot is able to transform. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think the last chapter she said, oh, it's a full moon. So I think Oda's been kind of planning this for a little bit, man. I think I think that's I think that is something that could help us. That, that's something that could help us to where it doesn't feel like an ass pull because Oda even though it was a few chapters ago, began setting up the reveal for this. So, I mean, I thought that, you know, that part was cool. And it even gets more justification when you go back to the stuff that got said on Zoe when they're on Zoe when they're talking about the Minx and everything. So, I mean, my chapter question to you guys is going to be, how many of you guys actually saw... Uh, carrot transforming as being a real option let me know was i just slipping should i've been expecting that because i felt like that kind of came I'm not gonna say out of nowhere but it did catch me by surprise so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching to the end have an awesome day guys